official restricted trailer. First learned about this seven years ago. Our mission in Brazil is to capture a wanted fugitive. Oh, when we got there, oh that's so sick. Unit in seconds. You see the bullet in the ice. The target has superhuman abilities. Oh, that's gnarly, dude. It had the same marking you do, Cole. It's a birthmark. What do you mean? He was born with it. It's not a birthmark, Cole. It means you've been chosen. Throughout history. Dude, Lewis Tan is such a sick actor. I really like him. Reference a great tournament. Of champions. That dragon marking. I think it's Oh, there he is! Hiroyuki Sonata. To fight for something, no. I'm, he is like fantasy scorpion casting. Oh my god, that's so fucking sick. As Mortal Kombat. These are your champions. I'm Sonya. That's Kano. I'm Liu Kang. The effects aren't bad, dude. Kung Lao. Lord Raiden. The fate of Earth is in our hands. No matter how many of my people you put in the ground. Oh, he looks so fucking sick. We I asked Melina, Shao Kahn. Kill them. Wait, was that an ice hand or an invisible hand? Oh, the dragon! Goro. Dude, there's so much shit we haven't seen. God I fucking hell. Look at where they're fighting. He's fucked that place up. Oh, that's so fucking cool. It was going to be in it. It was going to be in it. Oh, man. Wins. You fucking beauty. <laughs> That's fucking cool, man. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Right. We are going to break this down. We are. Don't worry. We are gonna we are gonna break this down. I, I don't know if that's reptile, but that's the thing. I wanna I wanna take a really close look. I really wanna take a close look at this. But a, a, a immediate response. Immediate response. I think I'm gonna enjoy this film. It just looks like fun, dude. Like it looks like fun. Like the effects aren't bad. It's got a strong cast. The, the the trailer is basically fight scenes, but it didn't show like the resolutions of any of them except you know Kano pulling that fucking guy's heart out. <laughs> I'm fairly sure I saw Cabal in one of the scenes. I'm fairly sure I did. My God. Yeah, Col like Cole. Uh, Cole is it Cole? It's Cole Young, isn't it? Cole Young. Um, that's Lewis Tan's character, but I, I don't mind it. You fucking beauty. Damn, dude, that was this. That was a fun trailer. That was a fun trailer. Okay, okay, brilliant. Okay, so I uh, I am allowed to say that. This, this, the reason I'm not like reacting like, oh wow, what, 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 what. Is because I've I've just got confirmation, so I can say this is actually my second time watching this trailer. This is my second time watching it. I watched it once late last night, and you will find out why soon. But no, 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 no. This was not a fake reaction because I wasn't reacting. I was I was very much not like, oh wow, what's that? I was just I was just enjoying the trailer. I'll tell you I'll, be, I'll tell you soon. But it does mean that we can fucking go into a deep dive when watching this. Hey, I didn't lie to you guys. At no point today, at no point today did I say we'd be reacting to the trailer. You know, at no point today did I say that we'd be watching it for the first time. I was very careful with my words. But it's fucking hype. And I've wanted to watch it again ever since I watched it for the first time. So, years ago. Let's have a look. A We're going to break it down. So, so, 
I was looking more specifically because I saw it last night. So there's a few things that I picked up on on this watch that I didn't in my first. So we're going to talk about them. Seven years ago, on a mission in Brazil, so her wanted fugitive. Right. So this shot right here. Right here. I'm not sure if I'm all about the kind of like super bright white Sub-Zero face, but I wonder, I, I guess they're just going for like a, his body temperature is like permanently low or something, right? Okay. Right here. When, when he freezes the gun and the bullet, to me this real, or, or not even bullet, these are like ball bearings, this is a shotgun. This has got to be like a reference to the first MK movie. You know when like, when Sonya pulls a gun on Sub-Zero and he freezes it and breaks the end off. This is like the next version of that. When we got there, it tore through our unit in seconds. So this, this is the first kind of like different approach that they're going for is... Yeah, this, this is definitely going to be Bihan. This is definitely like Bihan Sub-Zero. So Jax losing his arms to Sub-Zero is going to be the approach they're going. Which I, to be honest, I think it makes sense. It looks like, I mean, this is B-Han Sub-Zero. Like, B-Han Sub-Zero was the Sub-Zero that was, like, loyalty to the Lin Kuei above all, right? So he'd do really, and did do fucked up things for the Lin Kuei. So it's a bit more believable. Oh, that is so gross. The target has superhuman abilities. It had the same marking you do, Cole. Wait. Had the same marking. So Sub-Zero has this somewhere. It's a birthmark. What do you mean? He was born with it. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of that line. Because that's clearly not what Jax means. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's not saying, what's a birthmark? He's saying, what do you mean by that? But she's like, it's a birthmark. What do you mean? It means he had it when he was born. Like, I'm sure that's not what Jax was asking. <laughs> it's a birthmark. What do you mean? He was born with it. It's not a birthmark, Cole. It means you've been chosen. Throughout history, okay, Melina. Different cultures all over the world. Dude, I, I think people have been challenging me this entire time on Guilty Gear, and I've just been leaving them on, it's like leaving them all on red. Reference a great tournament. Ah, now referencing a great, okay, referencing a great tournament here, right? Do we think this is like Great Kung Lao? Because this is usually how like ancient Great Kung Lao is like depicted, right? With the headband, the bald head. Reference a great tournament. Okay, Raiden. So, so this this place that has fucking ice everywhere is probably going to be a big part of it. I don't know where this is, but it looks similar to the the first scene in the trailer. But Shang, Raiden, that's sick. Well, champions. That dragon marking. I think it's an invitation to fight for something known. God, that's so sick. As Mortal Kombat. God damn it. I cannot wait to see him as Scorpion. Easily. Easily, easily one of the things I want to see the most. Okay, so hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. This looks like Kano. Champions. It looks like Kano is, like, walking with them. So you've got, you know, Cole Young, Sonya, Liu Kang, and Kano is with them. So is he, like, going to have a heel turn? Like, is he going to pretend to be a good guy and I'm Sonya. end up not be? Because she's fighting him. That's Kano. That's Kano. I kind of like what they've done with Kano. I really do. He looks like a shithead. I think that's the idea. Jax. Okay, who's that? Who's he? Who's he? Who's he about a punch? Jax. Okay, who is that? It's a guy with like armored arms. This is probably the guy that has like the hammer that we saw in the Jax promotional image. God, this fucking Kung Lao costume is cool. I like it a lot. Kung Lao. Oh, he's fighting Kano there. He's fighting Kano because he just deflects an eye beam. The fate of Earth is in our hands. Who's in the background there? Yep. I okay. got Katana's fan. Okay. There's Kano. Okay. The gang's all here. No matter how many of my 
my people you put in the ground. He looks so fucking cool. Wait, who's he fighting there? Actually, looks like he's fighting Cole. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, that's the shot of Molina. So they're definitely going for like a more human looking Melina because like she's got the like barbaric teeth, but they're not like they're not as ex they're not as eccentric. They're not as like exaggerated. Shao Kahn. Ah, that. What is that? Is it is this like an invisible arm? Is this reptile? This this is someone cloaked. I thought this was like an icy arm the first time I saw it, but it, it, you can literally see through it. It's like some sort of cloak. So this could be reptile. But he's got sword. Look. He's got like weapons on him. But he looks kind of like scaly. This is probably reptile. Kill them. And that's Melina, Sub-Zero. Now, okay. So right here, that's that that looks like Sub Zero again, but he's coming through smoke. I wonder if this is just like the effects, because obviously, like traveling through the realms via portals is a big thing in Mortal Kombat, so it's safe to assume they're doing that again. So th is this just the effects for how the portals are going to look, or is this like smoke? Probably just portals, is my guess. Now here, okay, this scene, I thought I saw Cabal. Hook swords, that's Cabal. That's literally Cabal, it has to be. He's got hook swords. Yeah, that's literally hook swords. That's gotta be Cabal. And the effects for this are fucking cool, I'll be honest. It's Mavado? No. No. That looks so fucking cool, man. Dude, the effects are... I... Okay, so I see... I, I really feel so many, like, original original movie like first mk movie vibes like this looks like the outworld from the first mk film like in the few scenes we've seen of outworld like the kind of fire i mean th this fire could just be because Liu kang this is probably like an extended fight scene but like but like the statues and the markings the kind of like dark and gloomy misty kind of environment like this looks like very similar to outworld from the first mk movie Okay, that's Goro. Goro versus... Who the fuck is that? I don't know who that is. What are these markings on his back? Okay, I, I imagine Goro is about to fuck this guy up, whoever it is. But I don't know who that is. And that, yeah, that's, that's Cabal. That's another shot. Yeah, that's Cabal. 100%. Because he's got the hook sword, he's got a gas mask, and he's got like a canisters on his back. This is Cabal, 100%. 1000%. And there's that sick shot. I am Sub Zero. <laughs> That's so fucking cool, man. Oh my god. That, that wasn't the best get over here I've ever heard, but Hiroyuki Sanada saying it, so it's worth it. Who's in the background? Someone's over there. Is that Cole? I don't know. Damn, Sub-Zero is not 1v1? 2v1? Ah, who's that? Okay, so... Okay, Son Sonya just shot someone. Wait, is that Melina? Wait, is that Melina? There's no way they just showed Sonya killing Melina in the trailer. That, that, that's a Tarkatan mouth. There's no way they've just shown Sonya fucking shooting a hole through Melina in the trailer. <laughs> No way! This has got to just be like another tar carton, right? Oh, now who's this? 
I don't think that's reptile. This could just be some nameless outworld person. I mean, but it looks like they're in like the command center place. Wins. You fucking beauty. <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, it could be chameleon because chameleon is literally a lizard, right? Or like a chameleon is a lizard. So maybe that's like a, you know, maybe that's a thing. Oh my god. And April 16th. The good thing about this trailer being so late, the silver lining is the fact that we don't have that long to wait now. And I'm really happy about it. Man, okay. I I don't know about you guys, but I, I enjoyed that. I had a great time watching that. All I want, all I want from this film is a strong cast, which looks like we've got it. Good fight scenes, looks like we're getting it. And just a fun movie. Literally just a fun MK film. I don't want, um, my expectations are low going into any video game film, right? I try and have an open mind and, you know, low expectations. I feel, I feel like that's a safe way of watching any video game film. Low expectations and an open mind. But Mortal Kombat is quite true to my heart, you know, or close to my heart. So I want it to be good. One, I, I feel like there are so many of us in the same instance where the original Mortal Kombat film is such a nostalgic part of our, like, enjoyment of MK as a whole. Like, all my life, I have wanted a good cinema experience, going to watch Mortal Kombat in the theaters and have a good time. And hopefully by April 16, the UK, like, lockdown has eased up a little bit and you know, um, we can go into the cinema and whatever it is and watch it. Because I've always wanted that experience. And if it's a fun time and I come out in a good mood and I liked what I watched and it's done right, you know, just just, just given, given some just good times. That's all I want from it. Yeah, the, the first MK movie stands up now. Like, the first Mortal Kombat film is genuinely, in my opinion, and I say this with no bias towards MK, which I know, you know, believe that if you will, I don't think that there is another video game film better than it. For me, the the best video game movies I've ever seen are the Mortal Kombat movie and Detective Pikachu. Those two films, for me, are so high above everything else that have that has existed for the like the video game movie genre as a whole. And it also means that other Mortal Kombats have a lot to take inspiration to, but it's quite an act to follow. Silent Hill 1, Silent Hill 1 is a good film. Like, they, they nailed the visuals for Silent Hill, but they took too many liberties with the Silent Hill, like, story. Like, turning it into just a burn the witch kind of, like, religious cult, when that's, like, not the point of Silent Hill at all. And just creating a new character when Sean Bean is literally right there as Harry made no sense to me. But it was a watchable film, you know? It wasn't a complete garbage is, if you garbage fire. This game, they they just they, they took to me liberties with the bits that mattered, in my opinion. But it's still a film that I enjoyed watching. So, you know, could be a damn sight worse. But this one, I, I have high hopes for this. I really do. I really do have high hopes because... I mean, it's a trailer. There's always the chance that they've shown a bit too much. So, you know, scenes will know how they're going to go based on what we've seen here. I hope that's not the case. But, you know, it can be with trailers, unfortunately. Um, I just know that I've seen enough from this trailer to know that I am very, very excited to watch it.